Is getting meta verified on Instagram worth it? Or would you rather have $15 a month to spend on gummy worms? Are these props or can I? It's a question for the ages. And a question, I think, what we should answer today. Because I'm actually really feeling like I have a ton of energy right now. So what better time to uncover the truth about meta verification? Because we're gonna stay up all night if we have to. Okay? Oh, do that. You want to? Hey, I'm Stacy from Hootsuite Social Media Team, and this is Hootsuite Labs, where we teach you the science of social media marketing, how it works, and how to be successful. In today's video, I'm gonna dish on everything you need to know to get meta verified on Instagram, and show you the other slower but freer way that you can get verified instead. We're also gonna hear from a real life meta verified Instagram user. And this blue check boy does not hold back. Stick with us to the very end of the vid and you'll know once and for all whether the meta verified check is a badge of honor worth pursuing. What does meta verified mean on Instagram? Getting meta verified on Instagram gives you a little blue check mark next to your name on Instagram, as well as on threads. It's a little official badge that says, yep, it me. It's important to note though, that getting meta verified doesn't promise you increased reach. For that, you'll need to stick to winning Instagram content strategies. Verification is intended to prove to the world that yes, this is really you and not some imposter trying to steal your cloud or identity. When you pay to be verified, Meta checks your identity against your government ID. Your verification subscription also gives users proactive account protection, direct access to support and exclusive stickers. And if that doesn't have you whipping out your credit card, what will? Meta Verified is currently rolling out across the globe for users 18 plus. It's $15 USD a month to be Meta Verified on Instagram. According to my calculations, boop, 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 that's $180 a year. If you also wanna get verified on Facebook, that's gonna be another $15 a month. We've got our top accountants working on what that would mean annually to your bottom line, so stay with us. Businesses are not currently eligible, so if you wanted to pretend to be Tostitos, now is your chance. Breaking news! As of September 2023, businesses can now get Meta Verified for $21.99 a month. Our apologies to the Tostitos Cosplay Nation. How to get Meta Verified on Instagram. Step one, open up the Instagram app. Step two, okay, wow, we are sailing through this. Head to settings, then account center, then Meta Verified. If verification is available in your region, you'll see Meta Verified available under your name and profile. Step three, set up your preferred payment method for the recurring $15 fee. Ideally, you somehow get a hold of the Tostitos corporate credit card for this. Step four, verify your identity. Instagram will prompt you to take a photo of your government ID. And depending on your region, you might also be asked for a selfie video. Step five, keep yourself busy for 48 hours while the meta overlords review your request. Maybe learn to juggle? or re-watch Gilmore Girl. The thing most people don't tell you about Gilmore Girls is, Rory's not a good person. How to get regular Instagram verification. If you don't wanna pay for Instagram verification, there's still a way to get verified without the $15 a month fee, but it involves a little bit of patience and a little bit of luck, just like juggling, as I've learned. Head to settings and privacy, tap business tools and controls, and then scroll to the very bottom where it says request verification. Tap through the application form and plead your case to the Zuck. If Instagram decides that you are a public, noteworthy figure, you may receive a blue check within a week or so. If they decide you aren't, you'll receive a soul-crushing rejection instead. Is avoiding this sort of heavy personal professional judgment worth $15 a month? Only you can decide. We've got a full video on Instagram verification that walks you through all the steps in detail. What is it actually like to have meta verification? that we have our Hootsuite researchers and accountants working around the clock to figure out what it's like to have meta verification for Instagram. Nothing quite compares to a real experience, which is why I'm thrilled to sit down for an exclusive interview with a meta verified animator. While the answers are real, this mystery man has asked to remain anonymous, which gives our video director a great opportunity to showcase his true passion, puppet work. Sorry, one sec, let me slip into something a little more Barbara Walters. You currently pay for meta verification, but you were cruelly rejected by Instagram for verification first. 
How did that make you feel? I am paying for MetaVerified. I had applied twice for verification using the previous method and got turned down. Not sure why, Meta doesn't actually give you a reason. Why did you decide to bravely take the plunge and pay for Meta verification for your Instagram account? I'm an artist. I wanted to get Meta verified because I wanted a faster response on support requests. I use Instagram support a lot because people steal my work a lot and post it as their own. When this first started happening, I would be able to get help within 24 hours from Instagram, but that reply time started dropping down to a week. My choice to get verified was having quicker protections against that sort of thing, but I haven't actually had to talk to an agent from Meta since getting verified, so I'm not sure if it worked. It takes courage to be this vulnerable. Tell us, what's it really like to be Meta verified on Instagram? It hasn't helped my engagement at all. I typically only reach about a third of my followers or less on a post, even after getting the blue check. While I haven't noticed an increased visibility on my account, I have noticed an increase in visibility on comments I leave on bigger accounts. One last question, anonymous Meta Verified puppet, and it's a biggie, so dig deep. Would you recommend Meta Verification to others? Whether others should get Meta Verified hmm, depends on what they're after. If you're running a business and are targeted by a lot of scammy accounts, then it's probably a good idea. But if you're looking for more likes and visibility, then probably mm, not so much. Thank you so much, Meta Verified Puppet, for sharing your truth. May I? May I hug you? Oh, uh, no thank you. And I respect that. That's it for us for today. Do you think you're going to check out better verification for your Instagram? Or is that money better spent on, say, juggling lessons? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe because that's how we measure our self-worth. Don't forget to sign up for your free 60-day Hootsuite trial to level up your Instagram reach and engagement. Bye for now, friends.